the JAMA Network. Stephanie and Dawn are two women making very different decisions when it comes to having a mammogram. There are certain people that, um, that choose not to have the mammogram, you know, right at 40, and, um, and I just felt like I, I was going to take that route. In a low-risk group, Stephanie, at 43, decided to wait and revisit her decision at 45. Dawn, on the other hand, had her first mammogram at 35 after her older sister was diagnosed with breast cancer. When my sister was diagnosed, it was, I, it was scary at the time because she was so young and I felt like, gosh, I'm 35, I probably will follow her in her footsteps. Dr. Nancy Keating and her colleague from Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston reviewed medical literature on mammography screening. There is clearly evidence that there's a benefit to mammography screening, but that benefit is relatively modest and it's smaller for younger women than it is for older women and women with, uh, with more risk factors. This study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. As we increase the number and the frequency of mammography screening, women are more likely to have more false positives and unnecessary biopsies. The other chief harm is something called overdiagnosis. And overdiagnosis is when you diagnose a breast cancer that never would have become clinically evident within a woman's lifetime. Based on the study's estimate, for every 10,000 women who have mammograms every year for 10 years starting at age 40, 200 would be diagnosed with breast cancer and would survive whether they had a mammogram or not. 30 women will die whether or not they had a mammogram, and five women will have their life saved. About 6,100 would have at least one false positive and 700 at least one unnecessary biopsy. 40 to 45 would reflect overdiagnosis. Dr. Keating says better decision tools are also needed to help women make informed choices. It really is important for doctors to talk with their patients and try to help the patients to understand the benefits and harms and to help each patient come to the decision that's right for them. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.